is Miss Pam from the after school program, the 21st century, and today we're doing unicorns. So for grades three through six, we're doing two different unicorns. And the what I have up here on the board now is uh, a template. And that template, I want you to start copying. So trace it right off, get a piece of paper and a pencil, and you can look at it and draw it. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's just gonna be a fabulous unicorn. So go ahead and start tracing. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, what you need. So the first thing you need is a piece of paper to go ahead and um, draw that with a pencil. Uh, you're gonna need scissors. You're gonna need a glue stick or some glue. And you're gonna need some markers, colored pencils. Okay. Um, I used yarn on mine. If you have yarn, I know we had yarn that was left over probably from some of your uh, projects that we did in the fall. If you want to use yarn, I'll show you how to do that rather than color, or you can color it. So go ahead and pause this and get that ready. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to make this. And this is a unicorn puppet. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I did mine in yarn as I told you. So what you're going to first do is you are going to glue uh, your head to your body. The head to the body. Okay, first thing you're going to glue. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut out these holes so that you have your puppet. Okay, and while you're cutting that, cut out uh, a hole for your tail if you're going to be using yarn. If you're not going to use yarn, don't cut the hole out for the tail, okay? Alright. So cut out your ears, your head, your body, and your horn. When you cut out your ears, you're cutting two, and you're going to put a horn on this side and an ear on that side, okay? And then you're just going to put your horn up on the top. Okay? So I made an eye, and a little nose, and a mouth. Alright, so what I want to tell you to do is if you're going to color it, color it whatever you want to. Um, if you're going to use yarn, what I did is I took uh, some yarn that I had left, and I just made strips of yarn. And I made it about this big, as you can see. And then I just put it through the hole, and I knotted it. And I didn't cut it until I was all the way done, so I would have somewhat of an even tail here. Okay, and that's how I put that on. Here, I took and I braided some of that same color. And what you do is you just go take two or three pieces of yarn, and you're just going to weave them in and out, in and out. There's no perfect way to do it. Um, but you can just sort of intertwine those colors. You can use different colors, you can use the same color. And then what you're going to do is glue it. Now, I got a little bit of frustrated because it kept falling apart a little bit down here as you can see. But I just took and I glued it. So I went, instead of just a glue stick, I went and got a little bit stronger glue and I just glued it. Now, I don't think you can see too much, but yeah, it was there. <laughs> I made the mistake. Um, so then I glued on the ears, as I said, and then you're going to cut out your horn and then uh, color it. I colored this yellow and I glued that on. Okay, so it's a pretty simple project. You can either color it, you can put yarn on it. If you have any other ideas, sequins or, or whatever you want to put on this unicorn, I think it's fun. I think it's fun. And there we have it. Okay, that's the first one. The second one is this. And this is also a unicorn, and it looks like that. So while I'm talking, go ahead and uh, draw this. So take a piece of paper and just draw this right over your screen, and you can trace that right along. Okay? So I'll be talking while you're, while you're tracing that, and then we'll go on. Okay? So uh, what you're going to do is after you get this traced, you're going to color whatever colors you want. Do you want a purple unicorn? Whatever color you want. 
um, but get those colored and then and then cut out and then we'll go from there so go ahead and pause that um, so you're going to color and cut it out draw color and cut it out okay so I'm going to get started on the uh, one that I've started okay so this is the one that I started All right. and I'm just going to take my glue and the first one thing I'm going to put on is I'm going to put on I think you might like these. These go on keychains, they can go um, on backpacks, they're just so, uh, they just hang and they hang so perfectly. I've made a couple of these and they are awesome. Okay, so I'm going to put this on as the main. And there we go. I'm just going to put that right on like that. Okay, and I've got that glued on. Okay. Alright, the next thing I'm going to glue on I'm going to glue this on. This is the horn, the unicorn's horn. The very mythical creature that's like, I think, I've always thought that unicorns are good luck. Good luck. It doesn't make any difference whether you're a boy or a girl. My kids did unicorns just because they were fun. Just because they were fun. Okay, that's on. Just be a little bit careful if you're going to do it all at once like I'm doing because the, 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 the pieces kind of move about. All right, I'm going to put the... There's the, the head right there on top of the... There you go. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to put on is the eye. Nice bright blue eye. And there's the eye. Okay. Kind of a simple thing. But it, um, as I said, I think they're gorgeous. So I'm now going to take a needle and I've got some, I've got some thread here. And I'm just going to poke this through. Okay, I'm going to poke it through this way. It's going to come out this the other side. And then I'm going to knot it in order to make it hang. So it's going to hang. So it's going to hang like this. Okay. Pardon my, my arthritic hands. They sometimes don't work very well. Okay, so it's going to hang. You get the idea. I'm not going to poke it through now because if I poke it through, the glue hasn't, hasn't really set up yet. So I've got to wait for that glue to set up. Okay, I've just got to wait for that glue. All right, and that's what this is. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this. I thought this was so much fun. I enjoyed these. Okay, all right. If you have uh, brothers and sisters that are in K through 2, I have another video coming on unicorns for them. Thank you.